In this video, we will discuss Chaik and Money Flow and how to use it. Chaik and Money Flow is a proxy calculation that allows us to understand uh, how large institutions are likely accumulating or distributing a stock over time. Mark Chaikin created the Chaik and Money Flow indicator back in the early 80s, and it has become the industry standard on recognizing this. When we view money flow, it's important that we view it over a period of time. You'll hear the phrase money flow persistency. That discusses looking at money flow over a period of time. We do not want to view money flow's value today and be concerned with what that number is or what it looks like compared to yesterday. The extreme short term is not as important when it comes to money flow as looking over a time frame. Is money flow green more often than it's red? Is the green more intense than the red? This shows us accumulation over time by those very large institutions. And looking at the chart for TKR here, we see a stock that is by and large going uh, through this entire year back to January had very strong positive bullish money flow. Large institutions may sell over short periods of time. You may see a little bit of red money flow. That is very common even in a stock uh, that is on its way up, up, up. Uh, this stock TKR uh, has gone up recently, but uh, has been uh, uh, up and down throughout the course of the year. But money flow has stayed solid. Over the past month, money flow has been strong. Over the past three months, money flow has by and large been strong. Over the last six months, again, money flow persistency is strong. Uh, this is the positive persistent money flow that we are looking for. Often, again, stocks, as they have pullbacks, will have small amounts of negative money flow. If you are a more aggressive investor, that may be okay for you to enter into a stock that has a tiny little bit of red money flow, as long as the persistency is strong. For those more conservative, we would look to avoid any red money flow uh, currently. Uh, but looking at TKR, we see a stock with bullish persistent money flow. The other way we can view money flow is looking for divergences. Money flow by and large should move along with price. As money flow is green, price should go up. As money flow is red, price should go down. When the opposite takes place, we see money flow divergences. COOP here is showing a negative money flow divergence where price is reaching new recent highs as money flow has been strongly weak, as we can see right here. That is, an, is typically a, a bad sign for the stock as it looks as though institutions are distributing this, uh, getting out of this stock as it moves to new highs. At the same time, the opposite could be very positive for a stock. As a stock pulls back and we see money flow stay positive, that is a positive divergence. So for example, here, little pullbacks and money flow staying positive. Here, pullbacks and money flow staying positive, staying strong. These were good signs for this stock BLDR. Remember, Look at money flow over a period of time, the persistency of it uh, by and large, the most important item. We also have a very good breakdown of Chaik and Money Flow on our public webpage at www.chaikinanalytics.com slash chaikin dash money dash flow. Uh, it is right here under the about section. Uh, this money flow page uh, does a terrific job at helping you understand where money flow comes from, how it works, and how we should use it, persistency and divergences.